Finding habitable exoplanets in the universe which could potentially support life has become one of the biggest focuses of astronomy in recent years. One such exoplanet that scientists have had a close eye on is Proxima b. It is one of the closest ever discovered to the solar system with striking similarities to Earth. Even though astronomers have been unable to make visual contact with the planet so far, its presence has been confirmed since gravity can be observed to cause a tug on Proxima Centauri, the star it orbits. Reports state that the newly launched James Webb Space Telescope may have detected signs of life on the exciting planet. Let's take a look at these new findings. The James Webb Space Telescope is a symbol of progress and hope for all of humanity. The technological marvel signifies decades of research and development with the single purpose of expanding our knowledge of the universe. To fulfill its massive potential, the observatory will need to call upon its state-of-the-art equipment, which will play a massive role in helping it fulfill its mission. The JWST is equipped with four science instruments that will enable observations in visible, near-infrared, and mid-infrared wavelengths. Thanks to a successful and precise launch on December 25, 2021, NASA announced that the James Webb Space Telescope should have enough fuel to more than double its minimum mission life expectancy of 10 years. According to NASA, the telescope deployed and tested a key antenna on December 26, 2021, in a process that took about one hour to complete. This particular antenna will be responsible for twice daily science data dumps to Earth. The telescope successfully unfurled its massive sunshield a few days later. The tensioning of the sunshield's five layers began in early January of 2022 and took more than 24 hours to complete. After the deployment of its sunshield, the telescope continued with deploying its secondary mirror, after which the primary mirror was finally unfolded successfully to the relief of scientists back on Earth. The telescope currently sits in a location called the Second Sun Earth Lagrange Point after traveling nearly a million miles to its final destination. Lagrange points are gravitationally stable points in space, and the telescope is expected to stay here for the entirety of its mission. The James Webb Space Telescope is referred to as the successor of the Hubble Space Telescope. The two space telescopes have different capabilities, while Hubble primarily observes the cosmos in optical and ultraviolet wavelengths, the JWST will primarily look at the universe in infrared. Infrared is powerful because the oldest light in the universe is redshifted into the infrared. This gives the JWST the ability to peer further and deeper into the universe, seeing objects that are impossible for Hubble to observe. For example, JWST will allow us to take pictures of the universe when it was just 100 million years old. Additionally, visible light can't pass through dust, but infrared can, so JWST will enable us to see through obscured and dusty regions of space such as stellar nebulae. During the expansion of the universe, light from distant objects shifts to longer wavelengths at the redder end of the spectrum, known as redshifted. The JWST will observe this infrared light in great detail and shed light on some of the oldest stars and galaxies in the universe. Another big difference between the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope is that the JWST will orbit the Sun, while Hubble orbits Earth. JWST will be too far away to be serviced, unlike Hubble, which was accessed and serviced by space shuttle missions. Being the successor to the greatest space telescope of recent times is a big responsibility, but the observatory is already filling in these big shoes thanks to its impressive capabilities. Now that the telescope is successfully deployed, it has started to aid the search for intelligence life. With its gigantic mirror and ultra-sensitive detectors, the world's most powerful telescope will examine many distant unexplored planets orbiting distant stars. Twenty years ago, no other planets were known apart from those in our solar system. But since then, more than 4,000 other planets, called exoplanets, have been discovered orbiting other stars. NASA estimates that the true number of exoplanets could be trillions. The first signs of life beyond our solar system might come from extraterrestrial plant life. The Galileo spacecraft, on its way to Jupiter, pointed its instruments back to Earth and picked up the distant indication of the presence of plants. It detected the vegetation Red Edge biosignature, a mixture of red and infrared light that is reflected by plants. The JWST will measure the VRE of distant Earth-like planets in the habitable zone around stars. And, if there is a planet covered in jungle, for example, it should have a large large VRE signal that should be easy to detect. There could be important signs of life in the composition of the atmospheres of the exoplanets. When an exoplanet passes across the face of its star, sunlight passes through its atmosphere and could be picked up by the JWST. Spectroscopy would then be used to discover which wavelengths are missing from the light. 
Atoms and molecules in the atmosphere absorb certain wavelengths and therefore leave a unique fingerprint for the JWST to detect. In that way, the composition of the atmosphere can be determined and the presence of life possibly inferred. If Earth-sized planets were found to have an atmosphere similar to our home planet, that planet could likely support life forms. Technological life could perhaps be identified by looking for the presence of chemicals that don't occur naturally. If aliens looked at the atmosphere of Earth from a distance, they would probably see chlorofluorocarbons, which were manufactured for use in refrigeration and cleaning materials. Scientists believe that detecting such chemicals in a plant's atmosphere will be a telltale sign of intelligent life. Proxima b is an exoplanet that lies just 4.2 light-years away from Earth, a distance that is negligible when taking into consideration the endless size of the universe. It is the closest planet outside the solar system, and recent studies have pinpointed it to be just 17% more massive than our planet. The planet resides in the much-coveted Goldilocks zone of its star. This means it is in just the right spot to have the possibility of liquid water on its surface. Any closer, and all the water would evaporate from the heat, and being any farther would cause it all to freeze. While previously it was thought that the planet was just about 1.3 Earth masses, the new measurements indicate that the planet may be more like Earth than ever thought before. The planet was first detected by a spectrograph called High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, but new methods have since allowed scientists to have an ultra-precise view of the planet. The planet orbits around Proxima Centauri, which happens to be the closest star to the Sun, and since it sits in the habitable zone of this star, scientists speculate that it could be home to micro microscopic or even intelligent life. While the planet enjoys a terrestrial terrain similar to the Earth, there are some ways it is significantly different from our planet as well. For one, scientists believe that the planet is tidally locked and in a synchronous rotation with its star. This means that one side of the planet is always facing the star, while the other is always facing away. Additionally, Proxima Centauri is much smaller and much dimmer compared to the Sun. Since the planet sits relatively close to its star, some researchers believe it may not have an atmosphere. This is because the radiation coming from Proxima Centauri might have stripped away the planet's air, making it impossible for its surface to harbor liquid water. However, all these questions may be definitively answered once the new technology is available to inspect the planet at a much more intimate level. Of course, living things on exoplanets might resemble nothing like life on Earth. Sometimes even life on Earth can seem alien, such as extremophile organisms. This is a class of organisms, mostly microbes, that live in extremely harsh environments where life is impossible for other living creatures. Some live at very high temperatures, up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Others survive extreme cold, as low as minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Some live in strong acids with pH below 3, and there are other places on Earth where we would not expect to find life at all. However, it might be sensible initially to start looking at Earth-like planets where life is more likely. Rather than those planets that have a temperature of 250 degrees Fahrenheit, for instance, or are bathed in acid. Prime candidates might have a temperature where liquid water could form on the surface and they're orbiting around a stable star. Our Sun is classified as a G-type yellow star but these stars tend to be short-lived and less common in space as we know it. The more likely subject of study could be planets in orbit around the more numerous red dwarf stars, which are slightly cooler and less luminous than our Sun. These stars have much longer lifetimes, so there's more time for life to start up, and evolution has more time to develop complicated life forms. The first clue of the possibility of intelligent life on Proxima b was discovered back in 2019 when a strange signal was picked up coming from the direction of the planet by the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia. Although the reports are still a bit unclear, the signal reportedly showed up to five different 30-minute periods over several days where the telescope was directly pointed towards the planet. Based on the information available so far, the signal was concentrated into an extremely narrow range of frequencies, which points toward it being artificial and distinctly unlike any known natural radio sources. One of the biggest lingering questions at stand is that if the signal does turn out to be of extraterrestrial origin, should humanity send them a reply or not? 
However, our technological limitations mean it would take just over a decade for the message to reach the planet. The next step in this discovery is to identify all possible sources of terrestrial interference and the data collected from the strange signal. Since such a massive discovery will change the course of human history and our understanding of the cosmos forever, the scientists involved are rightly taking every step necessary to correctly identify the origins of this signal. One of the ways this can be achieved is by observing the planet through the James Webb Telescope. When viewing the Earth from space, the most obvious sign that a civilization calls the planet home is the glow of lights from the night side of our planet. The massive cities which are visible from above emit light that is shed into the cosmos. The biggest problem we have had so far is the lack of technology to observe similar lights on planets outside our solar system, but this will all change thanks to the James Webb Telescope. While the observatory is hard at work collecting data from the exoplanet, it will take many years before scientists can definitively confirm if the planet hosts alien life. Whether there is life anywhere else in the universe is one of the most important questions in science. The universe might be teeming with life, or maybe we are alone, marooned in a lonely world within the vastness of space. The definitive answer, either way, will likely require profound psychological and philosophical adjustments for humankind. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about the strangest planet in the universe. Do you think there is life on Proxima b? Please let us know in the comments section below.